Hey. What's up? I know we joke and cut up on this channel a lot, but uh, today's video is going to be serious because if you're like me and most Americans, last week we woke up to this. The CDC advisory now includes whole heads and hearts of romaine lettuce along with chopped and bagged romaine. CBS News confirms at least 64 people were infected in 16 states, but while the government believes that the lettuce is from the Yuma, Arizona region, it doesn't know who grew, supplied, or distributed, distributed rather the contaminated vegetables. Health warning has been expanded tonight, and it has everyone looking a lot closer at their greens. Dozens of people have ended up in the hospital with possible cases of E. coli. There is a new warning tonight for anyone who's recently bought any type of romaine lettuce. If you don't know where it was grown, throw it out. A deadly... An expanded warning about romaine lettuce. If you have romaine lettuce in your fridge right now, you need to throw it out. The CDC says based on new information, they're expanding its E. coli warning to include all types of romaine lettuce from the Yuma, Arizona area. The agency says don't buy new lettuce unless you can 100% confirm it is not from that Yuma. That's right, it's a E. coli outbreak. And since that news report, um, 31 more in, uh, cases have been reported. And that brings the number up to like 84. And uh, 42 of those people had to go to the hospital. There's no deaths reported yet. Uh, but nine people have had a uh, kidney failure. So nothing to play around with. It's been isolated to the Yuma, Arizona area. Check the produce if you've got any at home. It's your romaine lettuce, like the news report said. If you can't confirm where it came from, don't put your family's health at risk. Just get rid of it. And when you go shopping in the future, until they get this sorted out, make sure you check. So check out the, I'll, uh, keep up to date on the news reports. But just want to say that this is just another reason why I like hydroponics. Um, more often than not, when you have a large outbreak like this, it's because the uh, livestock farmers, the runoff has gotten into the irrigation supply of the produce farmer. And when they water their crops, the leaves get contaminated. And even though they try to clean it, at the facility, some of that bacteria gets through and gets shipped out. So hydroponic farmers don't water the leaves of the plants. Their nutrients go directly to the roots. So that kind of mitigates that problem. So not the end all beat all, uh, but it is another reason why hydroponics is uh, probably the wave of the future. Um, I've been looking around and I found two other little farmers uh, have YouTube channels. I'll put their links in the description below. You're going to want to follow them because uh, they're pretty cool. They're doing kind of like this. It's the NFT channels, but on a grander scale. Check them out. Good morning, everyone. Today is March 30th. Uh, I wasn't gonna video at all today, but I am so excited. I have to show you. Beautiful. Things are growing like crazy. I was... This is Tropicana um, green leaf lettuce. Look at the size of that, our beet tops. Now these beet tops are for this system. They don't get like the, uh, the root at the bottom, like it's not a root vegetable. You just cut it for the greens. These are growing fantastic. So if you have an NFT system like this, try this out, mix it in with your lettuce. Our bok choy, so what we do is, they're a nice size, I don't know if you can really tell from there, but what we do is we put two in a bag and we sell them for three fifty dollars each. You cannot get fresh bok choy like this in a grocery store. For kale as well, um, we just harvested kale and you can't even tell, you can't even tell that we've harvested kale. So we've harvested, uh, I don't know, if you did about maybe 50 bags for the market for tomorrow. And uh, we still have a ton left. And same as our Swiss chard, it's really starting to take off again, so. And that was all harvested too. It's just beautiful. And there we go. That's all I wanted to show you. I'm just so excited.
Around? Mm -hmm. What do y'all think? Isn't that pretty? It is gorgeous. Red Romaine. Boston. Mm. Green butter. This is that. Look at this that mirror is. Look at that. Is it mirror or mirror? Mirror. And this is um, that red butter head. That is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Romaine's looking nice. Yep. Red boar kale. Mm -hmm. This is new for us. Wow, wow, wasn't that fantastic? The the produce just looked amazing. I, I mean, it's like mine times a hundred. So uh, I know that most of you can't grow on the scale that they did, but the beauty of the NFT system is that you can scale it down to fit your needs. I've got one, two, two and a half channels here, eight feet by three feet. So if you've got 24 square feet in your backyard, neighbor's dog back in the city, um, you can grow your own produce. So we'll talk more about this later. You go check out their channels. Be careful with your uh, romaine lettuce. If you can't tell where it came from, get rid of it uh, until they get all of this sorted out. Um, until next time, keep on growing. Thank <laughs> you.